Question 2D is asking us to graph the rational function and identify the given parts. Um, it also tells us that there is already a hole at negative 1. We could use that information to divide out x plus 1 using synthetic division, or we can notice that both the numerator and denominator can be factored by grouping. So if I wanted to factor the numerator by grouping, I can split it into two portions. I can see that x cubed plus 5x squared has a GCF of x squared that I can pull out, leaving an x plus 5. Uh, if I look at the right side of that numerator, I realize I can pull out a negative 1 and have x plus 5 inside. If I want to continue with that, I'm going to get x squared minus 1 and x plus 5. x squared minus 1 is further factorable to x plus 1 times x minus 1, and I still have that x plus 5 hanging out. Likewise, the denominator is factorable by grouping, split it into two groups. The, the greatest common factor of that first group is x squared, which leaves me with an x plus 1. I can pull out a GCF of negative 9 from the right side, which also leaves me with an x plus 1. That means my denominator here is an x squared minus 9 times that x plus 1. That x squared minus 9 is x plus 3 times x minus 3 times that x plus 1. Uh, looking at our identified features, we know that there's a hole at negative 1 because there's an x plus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator. So then when we go through um, and want to look at our zeros, we know that there's a 0 at 1 and negative 5 because those are the roots of our numerator. We know we have a vertical asymptote at 3 and negative 3 because those are the roots of our denominator. And we know we have a horizontal asymptote at 1 because we have the same degree in the numerator and the denominator and x cubed divided by x cubed is 1. Uh, we know that given the fact that it's positive and we have three regions, uh, we are going to have n behaviors that look like that. And then we just want to verify what the behavior of the middle region is going to be. Uh, so I'm going to pick um, the values of negative 1 and 2 to see what that behavior is going to look like. I'm going to also, since I'm using negative 1, which is my whole, I'm going to use this simplified version of the equation down here. Uh, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, and negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Negative 2 plus 5 is negative 8. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Negative 1 minus 3 is... Um, negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, uh, which tells me that's going to be at 1, so I know I'm going to have this hole here hanging out at negative 1, 1. Now let's plug in 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 5 is 7, 1 times 7 is 7, uh, 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, and that gives us a negative number hanging out there at 2, so we're going to get a cubic that looks like that. Uh, we have identified all of the features, and we have graphed.